welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a video featuring my gorgeous new eyeshadows from the brand Adept Cosmetics. So I have filmed a swatch party video with the shadows. Some of these were sent to me, some I did purchase with my own money. If I've already posted the swatch party video, I will try and remember to link it in the corner or link it in the description box. But yeah, these are the shadows and they're so gorgeous. I've been dying to play with them so I did film this eyeshadow look and I'm gonna go ahead and insert that right here. Hey guys, happy vlogmas. So today I want to film a look with my adept eyeshadows that they sent to me. So sweet of the brand. So I definitely need to fill in this middle row at some point. Yeah, I'm so grateful that they sent me these gorgeous eyeshadows. I should have a swatch party video um, because I did film a swatch party video. So either it'll go up the same day as this video or a little bit before. It just kind of depends on my schedule because I am trying to do vlogmas, which means I'm uploading every day this month. So I have been like itching to use like this row, these purples, and I have like a like a satin purple that I think I might try throwing in the crease, but yeah, they send me so many beautiful shades. Uh, I just am so thrilled because this brand kind of sprung out of nowhere for me because they were kind of like more well known for their palettes, their magnetic palettes. And then I saw that they were coming out with eyeshadows, but I didn't want to quite take the plunge and then Hannah Louise Poston got some in PR and she posted such beautiful swatches and it just like totally had me hooked and then I was totally dying to try the brand and so I bought three of her shadows and then she sent me a bunch more as you can tell so I'm so so grateful so I actually before I dive into the satin purple I'm gonna be a little bit cautious and just go into this like matte brown and these are all numbered like the, the shades have numbers instead of names, kind of like the new ABH Pro palettes, the Norvina palettes. So I'll try and remember to put the names on the screen when I'm editing this. I don't want to pick up the shades right now. So I was wrong. This is actually a nice dark, dark, dark purpley burgundy shade. So this is actually perfect for the crease. Wow. The pigmentation is wonderful. I did prep my lids with the P. Louise base in the shade 05, which I have been using in every single eye look. I don't know if you guys are sick of me talking about it, but it's honestly good. I bought the uh, Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas first because I heard a lot of people say that it was a good dupe for the P. Louise one, and at the time, um, P. Louise wasn't sold at Morphe, um, but since they came to Morphe, I've been trying it because I was able to pick up one of the shades when I went to a Morphe store this month and I've just been like obsessed with it. It's been so beautiful and so many of my eyeshadows have worked so well with it that I'm just kind of like really hooked on it. I totally get the hype now. <laughs> so yeah, I'm drinking all the P. Louise Kool-Aid so I just had to tell you guys that I really enjoy it. I've always wondered if it was worth the hype, and to me, it definitely is. So I'm using like a Sonia G brush, and I'm just blending the shade. This is blending so nicely. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. It's so, so, so beautiful. I am obsessed the way this is blending. So I'm gonna grab a little more and really concentrate that and build it up on the outer corner because I want the outer corner to be darker. I should do a halo eye. I keep thinking I should do a halo eye. I saw um, Amy did a look, a halo eye with her palette, the Alma palette, and it just looks so pretty. And it was all burgundy and like purple. And so I was like, I think I, that's what I'm thinking about when I'm doing this eyeshadow look. Super beautiful. Oh my goodness. So, so pigmented. I don't even know what else to do. <laughs> are you guys, are you guys gonna get sick of me if all I do is like one shadow in the crease and like a lid shade? Cause I mean, those are my go-to makeup looks and 
I don't know, this really, I don't, I guess I could have done like uh, multiple colors, but I've just been really in the mood to wear the purples. So that's what I'm gonna do. And uh, if you guys wanna see more looks, you just have to let me know and I will try and get to filming them. Okay, so a clean, flat brush and I have a few different purple options. I think I'm gonna go into this light purple first. See how that swatches or goes on my lid, I should say. So it's full blown winter now where I live and I'm so miserable, you guys. We just got so much snow. If you follow me on Instagram, you can see the piles of snow outside my house right now. And then last night, my husband was trying to start up our snowblower and he broke like the cord that you, like it's a pull start and he was trying to show me how to use it. And like the cord like ripped right out of the snowblower. It was, he's not looking forward to dead A cause he's gonna have to um, get it fixed up. <laughs> it's crazy. I don't know why we live here. I swear sometimes it's like, I'm just like, can we move? Can we move to Florida? Let's go. <laughs> I just want to be warm. I don't care. Like, forget forget our business. Forget our jobs. Let's just go. <laughs> I'd rather work it in and out and be in Florida warm than have a job. <laughs> oh, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. That's how I feel. Wow. Look at this pigmentation. Two eyeshadows. I'm sorry, Adept. I... Wish I had used more of your shadows, but the fact that I can get a look like this with just two eyeshadows, I'm like beyond impressed. Um, and they also have like a lot of like build your own bundle options and stuff like that too. So definitely do check them out. They're a women owned indie makeup brand as well. And there is hardly any fallout on my face, which I love. And I am gonna do the rest of my makeup and I will be back to do the lower lash line. And yeah. Also guys, I do wanna quickly shout out this face lotion I picked up. This is the Daily Moisturizing Lotion for Normal to Dry Skin from CeraVe. And I picked this up at my Target store and I saw another blogger recommend this. And usually I'm not really into drugstore products because I don't really have the best of luck, but I have been using their face wash just cause I honestly like, I don't mind spending a lot of money on skincare, but it has to work well. If it doesn't work, then I obviously regret putting money towards it. So I really like the face wash for like in the shower at night. It's very like gentle. It's actually a really good dupe for a, what is that other brand? Dermalogica face wash that I bought. So now I just end up using the CeraVe one because I feel like it's so silly that I even bought the Dermalogica one. And so I thought I'd try this. And so far I've only used it for a couple of days, but it's so hydrating. My skin feels really soft. A lot of the times with moisturizer, my problem is that it absorbs and then my skin feels really dry. And I just love how this one, I can still feel some kind of hydration. So I thought I'd give that a little shout out for you guys that love skincare or you have dry skin like me and you live in a real cold climate. You might like that and it is like $10 or like, like it's definitely like $11 or under. So. I really love giving you guys that affordable recommendation. Okay guys, so I'm almost done with my makeup. I just threw on this ColourPop eyeliner in Charmer in my waterline and then I just wanna add some things to my lower lash line. So I think I'm just gonna go into that beautiful burgundy matte shade that I got from Adept in this palette and I'm just gonna tap that in with like a little pencil brush and I just like to drag that. That is so pretty, oh my goodness. And then I'm just gonna blend. That's blending beautifully. Wow, I love that color. So very happy with that shade. And then I just wanna pop on. She's got these like, I think they are like a iridescent shade with flip to it, you know, like a multi-chrome. So I'm just gonna throw one of those shades in my inner corner. You guys know everyone is obsessed with these like iridescent shades in their inner corner. In my opinion, I don't know if Amy started it, but in my opinion, 
she's the one that's talked about that the most. <laughs> and so I credit her for that idea. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I just threw in a very generous helping of that beautiful inner corner highlight. So I'm almost done. I will finish up, throw on some mascara, do my hair, and show you the final look. Okay guys, so here is the final look. I just wanted to have you guys zoomed in so you could see it really close up. I did use one of my new Nabla highlighters. This is the Skin Glazing in Adults Only. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. It's a little bit bright, but I just wanted to try it out today. And then my lip combo is all of these guys from the KKW Mario collab. I want to, you know, try and use the look more since it is three steps, which is a lot for me. And my highlighter is this old one that I've just been going back to. This is Whisper of Guilt by Mac, and this is from a previous holiday collection. I don't know if they made Whisper of Guilt permanent, but I think some of you might still have the highlighters. So anyway, this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed it. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this look. Definitely let me know down in the comments. Obviously, I only used three of their shadows today, so I can't give you guys an in-depth review, but from swatching them, I can tell that these are really beautiful shadows. That one matte shade blended so well, so I'm excited to try some of the other mattes. I don't have a ton of their mattes, actually. I just have that uh, purple and then some green shades, so I will definitely consider picking more of their shadows up and what else did I want to say the shimmers are gorgeous they foil beautifully I didn't even have to wet the shimmer shade on my lids which is fabulous I love that that I'm able to get such beautiful pigmentation without even wet wetting that shadow so I will go ahead and link a depth down below and I believe Hannah Louise Poston has a code with them so if you want to save some money Definitely use her code. I think it's just Hannah 10 or something like that. If I remember, I'll try and post that as well for you guys. And yeah, so far I'm really happy with the shadows. I'm really happy with the brand. I definitely want to fill this palette up in the future. But for right now, I will definitely just be playing with the shades I have. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Let me know if you've tried Adept Cosmetics or you are planning on trying them in the next few months or year or whatever you might be considering. And I hope you guys are enjoying Vlogmas. I will catch you in my next video soon. Bye guys.